let's draw the electron configuration notation for neon, if you would be so kind. Neon has how many electrons? Um, ten. ten. Okay. So neon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, yeah? Okay. Do you notice anything about these two? Why look. Neon is contained. The, no, the electron configuration for neon is contained in chlorine, isn't it? Because chlorine has more electrons than neon. So we can do a shortcut here. We can say, well, chlorine is just like neon plus 3s2, 3p5. That's the noble gas configuration. We're just shortcutting. Okay? So that equals chlorine. A note about these brackets. These brackets are only used on the noble gas in this configuration. So don't give me an answer where you put brackets around your answer. Don't do that. Okay. Let's do a little bit more practice. So, if you would be so kind as to write the electron configuration for argon. 18 electrons. Now, this is 18 electrons. Let's look at calcium. How many electrons does calcium have? 20. So it's got two more electrons than argon. So calcium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. What fills after 3p? 4s. 4s2. So we can write out all that, or we can just say Isn't that nice? Alright, so let's look at the pattern and where we get this from. Locate calcium on your periodic table. Locate argon. Notice that argon is a period above calcium, yes? yes? When you are writing noble gas notation, you're always going to look to the row above the element that you're writing it for and look at the noble gas in that period. So if you are writing noble gas notation for nitrogen, what noble gas would you use? Helium. Helium. If you were writing a noble gas notation for lead, what noble gas would you use? Xenon. Xenon. Um, not Warrior Princess. If you were writing a noble gas notation for strontium, what noble gas would you use? Krypton. Okay. So, let's go ahead and write the noble gas notation for krypton. Or, I'm sorry, for strontium. Noble gas notation for krypton is easy. So strontium has how many electrons? 38 electrons. That's crazy. Well, we know that it's going to be krypton plus how many? Plus two. Plus two. So 36 gets us up to what? How are you going to figure that out? Okay, that's 10. That's 18. 20 to go. What fills after 
Cells after 3P, oops, 4S, 3D, how many in 3D? So let's see, 2, 4, 10, 18, 20, how many can we fit in, in a D? 10, so we're up to 30, we need 8 more, what's going to fill after 3D? 4P, we're up to 36, what's going to fill after 4P? 5S. 5S, okay, and noble gases always end with a what? Did you notice any patterns? It always end up with a P6, so everything after that 4P6, there's your noble gas notation. Yes, sir. So how does this make it shorter to do it this way? Well, the you're, it's not right now. It's, it's just like if you're still writing the orbitals to get the electron configuration. But I'm going to show you a couple tricks. Yes, ma'am. Um, well, I don't think we said about the orbitals. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Let's get rid of this. Write the electron configuration for helium, neon, and argon, right on top of one another. So helium, neon, argon. Helium is 1s2. Neon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Argon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. 3p6. Let's go ahead and throw krypton in there. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. What fills after 3p? 4s2. What fills after that? 3d10. And then 4p6. What do you notice? With the exception of helium, which doesn't have any P orbitals available to fill, here you've got the second 2S and 2P full. Here you have 3S and 3P full. Here you have 4S and 4P full. So, Looking at these, this is in period one, period two, period three, period four. If you were a betting person, would you care to make a wager about what subshell xenon ends with? 5P. Does that make noble gas notation a nice shortcut? It does. So, since we know that xenon is going to end with something, 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 you know, a whole bunch of stuff, well, here, here's what we can do. It's going to be krypton, it gets us up to 4p6, plus 5s2, 4d10, 5p6. Because remember, we've got that D, DP crossover there. You're going to get really good at shortcutting these in the next chapter. Okay, so with these in mind, I'm going to write some noble gas notations up on the board. You tell me what element these refer to. neon 3s1 refer to? Write it down. Jot it in your notes. Why do you say sodium? One more electron than neon. Perfect. Okay. Um, what if I tell you I'm thinking of this element? Krypton. Five S two. Four D three.
And B. Um, the video? Some weird word. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about... <coughs> the Zentite. Krypton, 5S2, 4010, 5P5. What are we talking about now? Jot it down. So you can actually just count electrons, and I don't know if you've noticed or not yet, but you can read the periodic table left to right like a book, and as you go left to right on the periodic table, you add an electron every time. So we can say krypton plus 17 electrons is krypton, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, except that I'm down one period. Whoops. So it's iodine. That's iodine. Okay, questions on this? I think, I think you guys will do pretty well with this. You've got practice in your homework. Um, in the last class, they wanted to, to try one that filled F orbitals, because they will probably give you one on the test. So I'm going to stop the video.